Uh, no, see you down here. No, I'll see you later. Bye.
to all the ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls here today. This is a very, very significant day, as you will all be aware. It's the 100th anniversary. So with all the things that are going on throughout this year and over the next four years, this is a very, very significant moment. And I am really honoured to be standing here before you. I'd like to introduce the Reverend R Rachel Battershall from Ashton Parish Church. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. We will start our service here at the War Memorial with a hymn, O oh God, our help in ages past. you will abide in my love just as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love these things I have spoken to you that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full this is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you no one has greater love than this, 
to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask in the Father in my name, he may give it to you. This I command you, to love one another. So let us pray. Let us remember before God and commend to his sure keeping those who have died for their country in war. Those whom we knew and whose memory we treasure and all who have lived and died in the service of humankind. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, from whose love in Christ we cannot be parted, either by death or life, hear our prayers and thanksgivings for all whom we remember this day. Fulfill in them the purpose of your love and bring us all with them to your eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
Lord God our Father, we pledge ourselves to serve you and all the world in the cause of peace, for the relief of want and suffering, and for the praise of your name. Guard us by your Spirit, give us wisdom, give us courage, give us hope, and keep us faithful now and always. Amen. And as Jesus taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The God of peace give you joy and hope in believing, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>